Yo, what is up guys? It's me, Hexed Phenom, and today we're going to be talking about a possible Black Ops 3 news leak that happened earlier this week. Now, uh, pretty much uh, every year for Call of Duty, things start leaking, Inf like info about the new game starts leaking anywhere between the end of March, early April, and then the official reveal along with the trailer is usually towards the beginning of May and uh, so we're right on track with this now anything you read during this time has to be taken with a grain of salt if you will and uh, not all of it's gonna be true but I just thought I'd let you let you guys know about this because I haven't seen anybody else reporting about it and I thought it was pretty interesting whether it's true or not so I'm gonna let you guys know about it I have two things I'm gonna read off to you guys one one of them pretty believable the other a little bit less, but without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first article that I'm reading, it says, and I, it says this. Let me start off by saying that I can't reveal my identity, but I can say that I'm a graphics designer it's currently working with Treyarch Studios. Obviously, I can't reveal everything I know about the next Call of Duty, which, as I'm sure you have figured out, is Black Ops 3, but I do have a few things that I can accidentally leak. That's in quotation marks. The biggest issue and argument concerning Black Ops 3 is the exosuit. Over the past couple of weeks, there has been a lot of supposed leaks that hint to advanced movements being in Black Ops 3. I won't deny that these... that some of the these rumors regarding advanced movements may or may not be true, but for the most part, they will not carry over from the campaign into multiplayer. Another debate regarding Black Ops 3 is the reveal date. The world reveal for Black Ops 3 will take place on May 5th, 2015. Over the past few months, developers at Treyarch have helped put together the video that will be revealed to the public on May the 5th, and recently it has been completed. Lastly, zombies. Yes, there will be zombies, and no, there will not be advanced movements in zombies. There was never even a debate on whether or not these advanced movements should make it into zombies, as it was always a definite no. With an extra year to work on the next Call of Duty title, Black Ops 3, zombie developers here at Treyarch have had time to perfect and even add to the zombies' experience. Anyways, take this info as you will. As you probably know, small details can change at any time. But hopefully the info brings peace to some of the current arguments and debates. From Anonymous. Now that's the one that I think is... Uh, pretty realistic, and the next article I'm about to read kind of uh, touches on that. Touches on the possibility of there being uh, exo movements in the campaign, but uh, this one I think is a little more BS in certain parts. But I'm gonna read this one to you guys as well. The code name is Project Backfall, and the game is officially titled Black Ops 3. You play as Ryan Mason, who is the grandson of Alex Mason and the son of David Mason. The game is set in the year 2045, when severe tensions between Germany under the power of the Fourth Reich finally make a disastrous move against the rest of the world. Ryan is sent back in time with the help of an MD MDT, which, if you guys don't play zombies, that's what they call the teleporters in zombies and now finds himself 102 years in the past in the year 1943. He now has to change the course of history or die trying. This isn't your average World War II game because it deals with the altered storyline based off the final Black Ops 2 Zombies map, Origins. In this reality, Dr. Maxis finishes production of the Wonder Waff DG2 and gives it to the Nazis for weaponized usage. The legendary choice system from the Black Ops 2 campaign makes a comeback but is drastically improved. Thanks to the ch time jumps between the events of 2045 and 1943, you can see the effects of your decision in the future. If you're worried about the storylines of the first two Black Ops games being compromised, then don't worry, since Samantha made a rift in the space-time continuum during the story of Origins. It's a different reality, thus a different timeline. Now, that part seems really cool in my opinion, and it seems actually kind of realistic. If not realistic in a sense of reality, but realistic as in, I could see Treyarch doing that. But this part that I'm about to talk about, which slightly touches on multiplayer, I feel like a certain part of this calls to make this whole article debunked, but I'm going to read it to you guys anyway and then talk about it a little bit. Multiplayer has been completely redesigned. You can now do the campaign missions in a multiplayer lobby. And it has also been upgraded to 24 players versus 24 players in a standard match. 
Theater mode also makes its grand return, and Zombies isn't tied into the campaign directly, because it technically is a separate storyline. But it doesn't does have a dedicated game mode, like in the past, where you play as the original four characters. Now, the reason I would say that this just this paragraph alone debunks the whole article is I don't see you being able to do campaign missions in a multiplayer lobby unless they mean co-op campaign, which was in World at War, for those of you that don't know. But the way that I'm reading it is that kind of like the firing range in Advanced Warfare, where in between the matches you could go into the firing range and just shoot off your gun for 60 seconds until the next match starts up. If it's like that, you're not going to accomplish really anything in a minute in a campaign mission. I mean, yeah, you could save it and then start it up in the next, like, in between the next game, but I just, I don't know, I, I don't see that being practical, at least in my opinion. Also, the fact that it's upgraded to 24 versus 24, that means the multiplayer maps are going to have to be huge, and that's not the reason I see it being fake, but the fact that competitive Call of Duty is 4 versus 4. So if you're having maps that are capable of 24 versus 24 in a standard match, and I would say it's probably going to be 36 versus 36 or something crazy like that for Ground War, I don't see how you could also then have competitive 4v4. So uh, I'm not too sure about that one. But uh, take this information. Take this information for what it is, guys, and uh, if it's true, just know that your boy Hex Phenom hooked you up with the info, and uh, have a phenomenal day, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.